Hello, welcome back to another special week-long edition of My Arundel Biz Podcast. I'm Allison Akers. And I'm Grayson Norfair, and we're your hosts from Anne Arundel Economic Development. And we have here today uh, Kip Kunzman, who... Um, He's part of our It Takes a Village Week. We're uh, celebrating um, Economic Development Week for the state of Maryland. And so what we wanted to do is reach out to everybody. Yesterday we had Def Tech and uh, our very own Sarah Horta, which was a great episode. And if you if you missed it, go back, watch it. It was great. Um, but uh, I think we're I think we're going to top it with Kip. <laughs> so uh, Kip, introduce yourself. Sure. My name is Kip Kunzman. I'm the dean for the School of Continuing Ed and workforce development here at Anne Arundel Community College. So honestly, the community college is such a fantastic resource for both high school grads as well as the entire Anne Arundel community. Can you talk about the expansive programs that you guys offer? Sure, sure. Well, you, I mean, it just comes naturally for people to think about the college as an opportunity for new high school grads. Um, and we do have a plethora of opportunity in terms of healthcare careers, um, cybersecurity, engineering, interior design, business management, legal studies. But what people really don't think about necessarily is the opportunities that we have in terms of workforce development. Yeah. For those individuals who want to come back and start a new career and upskill themselves to be viable in today's work, uh, workplace. Uh, and so there are a variety of programs throughout the college um, that help us do that. The School of Continuing Ed and Workforce Development is a great example. Uh, we have everything from kids in college camps in the summer to avocational programs where um, individuals can come and learn a new uh, art or skill in terms of a special interest they might have to an enormous inventory of courses that we offer in our senior centers across the county and here on campus as well. Uh, in addition to that, we do everything from training in the correctional institutions locally. We're really? one of Maryland's largest wow. providers of, of education in, in the system. Uh, we also do um, a, a good share of culinary and baking and pastry and hotel and restaurant management uh, training as well through our, our school. We also deal with the issues that employers have with their incumbent workforce and help them upskill those individuals to make them better employees and have a positive impact on their return on investment and, and their bottom line ultimately. Yeah, exactly. um, our corporate training group works uh, exclusively with local businesses, local government, mm -hmm. state government, and others like professional associations to map strategies to resolve some of those issues that employers in our area are having. We also have an enormous English language learning program and an adult ed program where the Maryland External High School Diploma uh, is, is offered uh, uh, here at the college. And the nice thing about it is uh, last week we just had 119 graduates from that program. Oh, that's wow. huge. In is that in, your biggest in, so in, far? Co in collaboration with um, Anne Arundel County Public Schools. Okay. Uh, it's one of the larger wow. classes, yeah. But, uh, uh, and I can tell you last night actually we had a pinning ceremony for our nail tech, uh, our, our certified nursing assistant, our central sterile processing program, as well as our dental assisting programs. And we had about 120 students who per were able to participate in that ceremony wow. last night. So across the college, there are lots of opportunities for individuals to engage with us yeah. and for us to engage with them, yeah. whether they're newly out of high school, they're currently working in their employment uh, situation is stable, but they want to upskill and learn some new skills. They can come to us, uh, take credit classes or non-credit classes through our, our School of Continuing Ed and Workforce Development, or as a senior, uh, they can um, participate in many, many ways. So I think um, you span all industries, and I think as we're talking about partnerships and collaboration, we've brought you in um, as an important partner to our workforce training grants. Um, so I think Sarah talked a little bit about that yesterday where we offer our companies um, that, that can apply workforce training grants to upskill their workers, mm -hmm. which is what you've been talking about mm -hmm. through your classes. So we partner with the community college um, to offer more of a reimbursement if they go through classes through the community sure. college. So how have you seen that relationship so grow? I, I think there is, a, there is a trifecta here. We have a really incredible um, resource in the county through Anne Arundel Workforce Development Corporation, Anne Arundel Economic Development Corporation, and the college. And together, we as a team really are, are here for businesses, our local community to um, take advantage of the resources that they might not really be aware of sure. and uh, to 
do exactly what Sarah had mentioned, take advantage of those funding sources that the college or workforce development or economic development can bring to the table to satisfy some of the needs or some of the pains that employers are having. And uh, it, it is, uh, I, I think it's, we are definitely one of the best kept secrets and I'm, I'm, I'm really, so. yeah. I'm really grateful for the opportunity to talk um, with your audience uh, about the college and what we have in terms of capacity to help. That's great. Thank you. You, you guys got a lot going on here. I mean, it's, it's, it's surprising to hear everything that's happening. Um, what's the most important thing um, that you guys have been implementing? Well, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention our new uh, initiative in the trades. And uh, it is uh, the first of its kind for Anne Arundel. We are currently in a campaign to raise funds to build a building specifically for innovation and skilled trades. Uh, and that is being built through philanthropic um, donations um, and the generous gifts of individuals in our community where we will actually build a, uh, a building on campus that will be dedicated to um, the traditional trades as well as some non-traditional trades. Uh, initially, we're going to be looking at about 15,000 square feet. We'll have four trades labs uh, and then a classroom. And um, the, the building is designed to be flexible and innovative so that as our needs change in our community, we can, can move about a little bit. Yeah. And then it's also being designed so that we can add on an additional uh, phases as needed. Um, that these, is. Pardon? These will be certification programs? So these will be uh, many of the programs that you think of when you think of trades. Initially it's going to be HVAC, electrical plumbing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, framing and finished carpentry, forklift, those kinds of things. Uh, but we're also looking at other trades as well uh, through our initiative within the School of Continuing Ed and Workforce Development. Awesome. That's awesome. very cool. That is awesome stuff. Sign me up because my AC and, went out. Yeah, <laughs> man. And I, I do have to tell you, I do have to tell you that the, the center has we have our community has responded really generously and um, through um, gifts we have already um, received um, a, a gift that enabled us to name the building and it is will be named the the Clausen Center for Innovation and Skilled Trades. Oh, that's awesome. incredible. That's great. Yeah. When yeah, is great. that set to open? So we're set to open June 20, well, officially fall of 2021. Okay. We're hoping that the construction will be done in the summer of 2021. Great. Yeah. Um, so I understand that the community college holds a reputation of being one of the first community colleges in the country, so I'm going to have to read my notes for this, to be designated as a CAE2Y by the National Security Administration and DHS. Can yeah. you talk a bit about what that means and how the college supports our cybersecurity pipeline? Because yeah. that's hugely important in yeah. Anne Arundel County and the Fort Meade region. And, you know, we have the great fortune of having the National Security Agency and other DOD um, inst uh, organizations in our backyard. And um, the college, before I got involved with mm -hmm. cyber at all, was um, led by individuals who were were very innovative and forward thinking and so they put together a curriculum that was cutting edge and really were um, the forefathers of what now is known as cybersecurity and information assurance and and so on and so on but the, the idea was that um, Anne Arundel was one of the first six colleges in in the nation to submit application to become a CAE2Y mm -hmm. and from there um, has been seen as a leader in this in this area of education. Um, we're not only a CAE2Y, but we're also a CDFAE, and that's a Center for Digital Forensics um, Academic Excellence. And we were the first, I can say proudly, okay. that we were the first in the nation to be that. And our, awesome. our, my colleagues here in the School of Science and Technology uh, and, and others at the college have worked really hard to build on that reputation. But that reputation and that, that kind of programming really represents the innovation and the, the spirit of, of Anne Arundel Community College. Yeah. Um, I think of us as an innovative institution and um, certainly our leadership supports creative ideas and, and doing things that no one else is doing. So um, that's just a really great example of what people might not think is necessarily going on at their local community Yes, college. I would completely agree. So, but yeah. then we've sent a bunch of companies over to you saying, yep. hey, these are our cybersecurity companies. They're looking for training. You can help build that program for them. Okay. And they've got these yeah. tools that are right there for them. Right. It's very cool. Yeah. Now, you guys have um, a lot going on in 
Um, a little while ago, you mentioned the uh, healthcare and culinary mm-hmm. areas. Can you touch a little bit more on those uh, sure. what programs, things you got going on? Sure. With so, in, in healthcare, obviously, in credit, um, you know, we are a flagship. Um, school for nursing education. Um, it doesn't fall within my school, but I certainly yeah. am proud to, to be a, a part of the, the the academic leadership team that that um, we I am, and and our nursing program is second to none. Our um, program uh, um, celebrates 100% pass rate on the the licensing exams. Um, but beyond the nursing program, we have a robust uh, physical therapy assistant program. We have radiology tech. We have a, n- a number of different programs in the allied health arena that individuals in our community can come here, gain the skills to start a new career in that is really transferable anywhere you live. Um, it's not something that's just happening in Maryland. You can get your degree, your, your license, uh, and, and work anywhere essentially yeah. uh, with those kinds of skills. We would like you to stay here. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But, but it is it is something that you can, and as if life takes you in a different exactly. direction, sure. it exactly. certainly is transferable. Sure. But there's a, a tremendous need locally, and um, you know our programs are very uh, celebrated, much celebrated, um, and supported um, by everyone. In, in terms of the, the, the culinary arts, um, our HCAT Institute is ranked number 14 in the nation. Um, we're accredi- accredited by the uh, uh, American Culinary Federation and uh, we enjoy a, a really robust curriculum and teach folks uh, really critical um, what I call critical skills because I like to eat yeah <laughs> um, oh yeah um, <laughs> you have a professional ear right here <laughs> so um, it's really nice that that we have the ability here at the college to train people for for an art um, that I consider you know one that everyone can enjoy sure. and because you can taste the fruits yes. of their labors but um, we have certificate programs, degree programs in that area, and um, we're working to build more work and learn opportunities uh-huh. in that realm so that we can, it kind of like the new, uh, the apprenticeship kind of yeah. model, a, yeah. a work and learn, so that students would be able to come in and um, take some non-credit courses, maybe get a job, and then work along with their employer to learn more, and then move into our credit programming. We're headed in that direction in, in the culinary arts and as well as other areas at the college. But um, those two areas, um, for me, uh, I think are really, really stand out, as well as our business, you know, our largest program is our business management. Mm-hmm. And uh, we certainly have a robust um, enrollment in our transfer studies. And those are individuals who recognize the value of a community college education and, and respect it, but see that they want to go to a university for a baccalaureate degree. They come to Anne Arundel, know they're going to get quality education, yes. and it's going to transfer to a University of Maryland system school or another school of their yeah. choice. But they, they recognize the economics and, and the yeah. value in, in coming to the and college. And coming to a college like Anne Arundel, right. a community college, it just sets you up for, you know, you're going to be prepared yeah. for right. that for it, that yeah. the rest of that degree. Yeah. 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 Look, listen, that's awesome. See, we win at Economic Development Week. We win. We win. We got it, hands down. Only hands because down. of partners like you. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, last fun question. Okay. What is your favorite part about Anne Arundel County? Why is it oh. the best place? Can so, you name a couple? Yeah, no. So, so what I like best about Anne Arundel County, well, number one has to be water. Yeah. Yes. I, I'm a, I'm a, an outdoor person. Yep. I yeah. like the water. I like beach. Mm-hmm. I like to be on the water. Um, I think the other thing is that it's just the diversity of um, what the community is. Yeah. And, and, you know, Annapolis is certainly a lovely place to visit, but I also like being outside and yep. in the countryside. It, it's, it's really, um, the location is, is really mm-hmm. exceptional yeah. because you're so equidistant from Washington or Baltimore, mm-hmm. pretty much, and you have the ability to, to do things that maybe other parts of the, of the, the state uh, you don't have excess. I think we, we've been talking about Anne Arundel as the place, the opportunity for choice. Sure. Because yes. you have everything here. Yeah. You have the opportunity to choose yeah. whatever you yeah. you want yeah. in yeah, your place. It's really up to you. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, thank you, Kip. It's my pleasure. Um, Anne Arundel County is lucky to have a community college as outstanding as you and as a great part, economic development is lucky to have a great partner. Um, like you, that is helping to build the pipeline of educated students coming out that become our workforce. And our companies can come back to you guys um, for continued learning, which is important to help keep growing. So we're glad to have you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. So you can find all of our podcasts on our Facebook. Um, These 
uh, all are live this week, so they'll be on our Facebook as well as on arundelbiz.org in our newsroom section. We will be doing a summary post, and you can find all of our other My Arundel Biz podcasts on my on arundelbiz.org. So check us out. Thanks. Thanks, Kip. Thank you.